Fly Court between John and Fanny by William Barnes. Now, now Fanny, it is too bad he tays and made. How late you be a come, wherever have he stayed? How long he ever made me wait about? I thought you weren't going to come again. I had a mind to go back one again. This isn't when you promised to come out. Now, it didn't any good to make of round. Come before that, I couldn't come to now. For I've been kept in all day with mother at work about one little job and the other. If you don't want to go, though, don't be stay for me a minute longer. I have a prayer. I don't even be out with Jimmy Blake. And why be out with him, for goodness sake? He walked out Sunday evening when you know. He went from church and hitched up in his arm. Well, if I did, that weren't any harm. Look, that is something to take notice of. He took me round the middle of the stile and kissed me twice within half a mile. Yes, at the stile because I shouldn't fall, he took me home and helped me down. That's all. And I can't see what very mighty harm he could have done in lending me his arm. And as for kissing all day, if he did, I didn't ask him to, nor say he did. And if he kissed me three times, or a dozen, what harm went? Why, well, isn't he my cousin? And I can't see then what there is of this and Cousin James just give me a kiss. Well, he shan't kiss you then. You shan't be kissed by his good ugly chops and lanky hound. If I does thee and I'll just ring up me with this and knock him down. I'll squat his good pug nose if I don't miss him. I'll burn, I'll spoil his pretty lips for kissing. Well, John, I'm sure I little thought to find that you had ever such a jealous mind. What well, then? I suppose that I must be a dummy and mustn't go about nor wag me tongue to any soul if he's a man and young. Or else your work is a hot, madly passion. Talk away again, both at Russian, breaking walls, beating heads to pummy. If you've got such jealous ways about thee, I'm sure I should be better off without thee. Well, if good Jimmy ever wins your heart, we'd better break the car chip off and part. He won me heart. Dear job, don't talk such stuff. Don't talk no more, for you was that enough. If I delights another war than you, I'm sure I shouldn't come to meet thee soon. For I have told the father many a story, and took a mother many a scold for it. But it'll be over now. For you shall see me as we no more, but we a quarrel with me. Well, Danny, I won't say no more, me dear. Let's make it up. Come, wipe off the clear tear. Let's go and sit on top of Azure style and rest and look about a little while. Now, go away, you crabby jealous Jack. You shall kiss me. You shall. I'll be a slap. Then you look smiling. Don't he pout and toss your head at eye and look so very cross? Now, Jack. Squeeze me round the middle so. I won't stop here no longer if you do. <laughs> Why, John, be quiet for me. <laughs> I promise. Now see how you ruffled up my bonnet. Mother will see it after I was home. Dear Greg, get directly how it comes. Then don't you say that I be jealous, Fanny. I won't. For you'll be jealous, Mr. Jolly. There's somebody coming down the ground to all the side. Who is it? Come, get down. I must run more than probably worth it now. If I just stay, they'll kick up such a row. Good night. I can't stay now. Then good night, Bunny. Come out a bit tomorrow evening, can he? The Spring by William Barnes. When wintry weather's all a done, and brooks to sparkle in the sun, and noisy building rooks to flee, we stick stars their elm tree. When birds to sing, and we can see it from the boughs that bud the spring, then I'm as happy as a king, and feel we help and sunshine. For then the cows that sang in flower, are wetted in the sunny shower, to grow we violets sweet as smell, beside the wood green gregle fell. Where thrushes' eggs, we sky blue shell, to lie in mossy nest among the barns, while they to sing their song at evening in the sunshine. And God to make his wind to blow, and rain to fall for high and low, and bid his mountains sun to rise, for all alike in ground and sky their colors for the poor man's eyes. And in our trials he is near, to hear our moan and see our tear, and turn our clouds to sunshine. And many times when I divine, things all go wrong and folks unkind. To see the happy beating herds, to hear the singing of the birds, to soothe me sorrow more than words. For I to see 
the Tithar Zin, the Myak one souls the dagger in, when God would give one sunshine. False friends like, when I was still a boy in mother's pride, a bigger boy spoke up to me so kind like, if you'd a like I'll treat you to a ride and there's your wheelbar. So I were blind like to what I had a working in his mind like, and mounting for a passenger inside. And coming to a puddle pretty wide, I tipped me in, a grinning back behind like. So when a man that come to me so thick like, and shake me hand or unsurpass me by, and tell me he would do me this or that, I can't help thinking of the big boy's trick like. And then for all I can but wake me half and thinking, I'd feel a little shy. <laughs>